back then when I was running an event, part of my business, I was so attached to it. And I was getting flamed online. A lot of people were saying bad things about it because they were saying, how, much, how can we charge for parking? How can we not have customer service? How can we not do this? How can we not do that? And for me, I took it so personally that I went into like a semi-depression for six months. Yeah, Like, I'm like, wow. Because I took it so personal. I'm like, I spent two years building this project. And how can you throw words out there so lightly without understanding the amount of work that I put in? Like, who are you to judge me? And then I got super, super sad. And, and throughout that time, I, I did a lot of soul searching. I did a lot of self-development. I did a lot of learning myself. And eventually I was able to get myself out of the loop. And, and, and the biggest lesson that I was able to learn from that is that don't attach my self-identity with the business, right? I can pour my heart, soul, and tears into this business, but this business does not represent me. It is only a vehicle for me to be able to bring my family on travels, for me to be able to bring goodness to the world, for me to share a lot of things to the world. Just because I sell it doesn't change who I am. So that's why after selling 720 Suites, I'm not sad. On the other hand, I'm super excited to go on to the next thing. I see it as a beautiful project, oops, sorry, that I was able to build and was able to have everything that I've learned to put into this vehicle and to learn and to grow it. And then now I'm able to sell it. So that's kind of the reason why I'm not too sad about it. Uh, I know a lot of mom and pops, that's the reason why they're not willing to hire people. They're not willing to trust other people because it's so close yeah. to their identity, right? And it's very, very difficult position. So for, for someone to be able to get out of the mindset is super important because that is also what hinders the growth of any restaurant or any business for that matter. For, for example, Little Audrey, mm -hmm. if you don't trust other people because you're so identified with the business, it's very, very difficult for you to grow past that one location because you won't trust other people with your recipe. You won't trust having a manager <clears throat> take care of a new location for you, right? So at the end of the day, even if you're looking at selling or if you're looking at growing your business, it's very, very important to be in the right mind space in order for you to be able to take that leap.